Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the next puzzle in the Hamilton Sudoku series, a series of puzzles that was created by a bunch of anonymous setters um, in order to help me celebrate my surprise trip away to Brisbane, where I was invited to the opening night of Hamilton there. Um, so I needed to record a bunch of videos so that um, I would, <laughs> I'd literally have time to uh, be away for a few days without there being massive gaps on the channel. I needed stuff that I could record quickly um, because there was a whole heap of preparation to do and I, I just needed it to work. So, um, and they wanted to celebrate what was happening for me. So uh, a whole bunch of them, I didn't even know it was coming, got together. And then one day I got a surprise email with a bunch of puzzles. And then a couple of days later, I got another email with a bunch more puzzles. So it's basically a, a, a themed Sudoku pack, um, with which is being released in video form. So I, it's just an unexpected pack that I was not, uh, it's great for me because I'm really enjoying the puzzles. And if you're not into the theme, enjoy the puzzles. Honestly, um, that's what matters. So um, the, they'll be identifiable. As you can tell, all of the thumbnails have been done to a consistent theme. Uh, the poses that I'm doing are relevant to the moment in the show, uh, something I am ridiculously familiar with. Uh, apparently, according to some of the Australian crew, I have seen the show more than many of the people who created it. So, um, yeah, it's it's very, very weird. Um, and I'm, I'm absolutely enjoying the puzzles and the journey. So, um, yeah, this is raise a glass to the four of us because, you know, Tomorrow There'll Be More of Us by John Lawrence. And he's hoping I do better at this puzzle than he did. Anyway, um, so how does this one work? So normal Sudoku rules apply in every box, in every row, and in every column. The digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have quadruple circles, which means uh, around these circles, um, the digits that are in the circle must be uh, touched at least once in or must be seen at least once in the four cells touching that circle i think in this puzzle all of the circles have four digits in them so the four digits in the circle will be placed in the four cells touching that circle we also have cages and digits may not repeat within the cages that's what we've got i think all of the cages are nine cells we'll find out so they're the rules of the puzzle i'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer let's give this a shot so the first thing that jumps out to me is this is a one, two, four, nine. So this must contain one, two, four, nine, but I also have to put one, two around this. So this has to be one, two, and this has to be three, six. Um, so that's absolutely forced. Now, there's a weird trick happening here because this cell here, yeah, where does this cell, this is a nine cell cage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where does that cell there go in this cage? Because it can't be any of those cells because they're in the same box and it can't be those cells because they're in the same row. So this cell is the same as this. So this is one, two, four, or nine. And it can't be two, four, or nine because this is a one, three, seven, eight quad. So these are both one, which makes this two and this one. That's really cool. I like that. This two means this is not two. And these two cells, yeah, there must be a two in here and there must be a four nine here because whatever this cell is can't repeat in the cage. So it has to be one of these two. So this is a two and the other four nine has to go down here. That's really cool. That's very, that's smooth and clever. So now this is a triple because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's very smooth. Sorry. And we've also got three, seven, eight in here. So seven is already in this cage. So it's in one of those two. Not sure. This is six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, this is a similar trick. Where, do, where does this cell, I'm going to get rid of the yellow up here. Uh, where does this cell go in this cage? 
And it's the same trick. It can't go in the same box, so those aren't it, and it can't go in the same row. So this is the same as this cell. But this is three, four, five, six, and this is six, seven, eight, nine. So these have to be the six, and there's no six there. And now I can get rid of the coloring. Okay. So these are three, four, and five. The difference is up here, I had the one, two, but I don't have anything here that's the same. Hang on, but one, two, three, eight. This can't be four or five. This is the three because four and five aren't allowed on this quadruple. So there's no three here. And this is one, two, and eight. Four, five in, oh, this is so cool. Four, five in this cage can't be here. So this has to be the four, five. This is the six, eight. And there's eight in this cage. So this is not the eight. This is a one or a two. This is very smooth. So eight is in here now. But do I have a similar trick? These three cells are those three cells. Well, that can't be a four or a five. So those have to be the same. Because if that was that one, it can't be that one, but if it was that one, it'd have to be a four or a five, and I'd have three fours or fives. So those two are the same. And neither of those can be a six because of that six. So this can't be a six. That's an eight. And these are from one to eight. This is a six. This is not an eight. And I have to put an eight somewhere and I can't put it there. This is the eight and these are the same. Oh, this is cool. That's so smooth. Six and six means six is in one of those two. Which means six is in one of those two for this six, seven, eight, nine. And there's no six or eight there. This is seven, nine. There's no seven, nine there. This is six and eight, which takes eight out of there. This is seven, nine, which makes this eight. Which looks up making this is three, seven. And but it's not three. This is seven. This is three, eight. Oh, beautiful. It's a geometry puzzle, but it's so elegantly designed. And it just keeps going. This seven can't repeat in the cage, so it's not in those, so it's in one of those two, but that looks down, making this the nine and this the seven, which means the seven is not there, this is the seven. And these are two, five, and nine, and I can't repeat nine in the box, so those are the nine, this is a two, five. The two, five looks across, making this four, which makes this four, and this five, which makes this five. Four looks up, making this nine and this four. And the four colouring is now done. But now I need to put four in here. So this is four. This is beautiful. This is one and six. Sixes and sixes are lining up. Can't put six here. Can't put six here. This is a six. And this is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. And the seven. Oh, literally. This is glorious. And now five is in the cage. This is really cool. This is the sort of puzzle that just blows my mind how people do this. So these are one, two, and five, six, seven, yeah, one, two, and five. There's no one, oh, there's no one in either of that. That's a two, five. So that's a one, and that's the same digit. So the coloring comes to the rescue. There's no one there. Actually, the eight makes that a two. This is now a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is a three, four pair. And the four gives me the order. This is the three and this is the four. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, seven, and nine. There's no seven there because of that seven. So this is the seven. The two makes that the nine and that the two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three and eight. Yep, that makes sense for that. That one's not jumping out at me, though. I'll get there. This has to be the other seven, nine, because this six matches there. So this is a seven, nine pair in this row. And seven, oh, wow. 
nine, seven, nine, and whatever. Yeah, those two go into there in some order, but that seven gives me the order, nine and seven. That takes seven out of there, and that seven takes seven out of there, so that's a five, eight pair, making that the seven. The four comes out of there. The nine comes out of there. That's a two, that's the four. There's so much flow in this. It's stunningly beautiful. I think I've done all the quadruples now. And I think I've even resolved most of the cages. So it's now just down to Sudoku. But the flow, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is three and six, and there's a three. So this is the six. This is the three. This is the six. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, three, eight, and nine. There's no nine here, so the three eight pair makes this the nine. The three looks up, making this eight, this three, this eight, this three. Oh, this eight has looked up, making this five and this eight. The five looks down, making this two and this five. These columns, one, two, three, four, one, two. So this is one, two, three, four, five, which is not resolved. Let's look at this column because I'm only missing two digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, this eight will give me the two and the eight. I could have also used the two in the box. I'm getting to the bit where I've only got the corners left over, and that can sometimes be tricky to resolve. So I need to put a one in here. I can't put them there or there, so this is the one. I need to put a three in here. Uh, it seems to be able to go anywhere. Four, five, six, I need to put a seven in one of those two, and I need to put a nine right there. So that's the nine, this is a three, seven pair. This does get me down to pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is three and four. One, two, three, four, five and eight go in there, and this five gives me the order, the eight and the five. The eight looks down, giving me six and eight. The six looks up, giving me one and six. Okay, so columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is one, three, and four. There's no four there. Hmm. So this is one, two, three, four, because I got five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are one, two, three, four, and I can't put two in any of those because of those two. So this is the two. There's no four here. So this is the four. This is a one, three. The one, three looks over making this five and this one. Uh, this one looks down, making this three and this one. The three looks up, making this four and this three. These are now pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven go in here, and this six gives me the order. Six and seven, three, four, five, six, yep, three and five in here, and this five makes this three and this five. The three looks up, making this seven and this three. That is beautiful. Beautiful, simple, flow of geometry and cages and um, quadruple constraints just pushing against each other in a really nice way. Yeah, raise a glass to the four of us. That that was absolutely stunning. Um, interestingly enough, um, the story of tonight, which is where um, the the particular song where uh, that line gets sung. It gets There are two versions of the story of tonight in the musical. And the second one, the reprise of the story of tonight, is actually a song I often miss because it comes immediately after Satisfied, which is my favorite song. And at the end of that one, I'm a bit of an emotional wreck. And quite often I spend the first 45 seconds of um, the story of tonight reprise, like wiping the tears away from my face and just like... <laughs> Yeah, recovering. So it's like, um, I, I've seen it a few times, but not as much as I've seen the rest of the show. Thank you, everyone, for the puzzles. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. And as I said, even if you're not interested in Hamilton, the puzzles are still worth doing. Um, nice, uh, short. I, I, I like to consider them lunchtime puzzles because you can do you, know, you can get your lunch and sit down and, and do the puzzles in a lunch break, which I think is just great. Thanks everyone for watching um, and as always, good luck with your solving.